to another quick Photoshop tutorial. Today I'm just going to be looking at how to put a skull on somebody's face and give them a, a skull demon look. So the photo that I've chosen is uh, the, the Mona Lisa here and all we're going to do is get a nice photo of a skull and let's see, let's get the background eraser tool. Now let's try the magic eraser tool. Let's just see if we can erase the background. That's perfect. So then we're going to copy the skull across to the, the Mona Lisa image and just use the transform tool and we can just make this smaller and all I'm going to do here as well is just reduce the, the opacity of this layer and just see if we can line this up so here we go just trying to make sure that it's just up around our forehead and seeing that it covers our eyes and, and our nose as well That looks okay there actually. Now, as you can see, our underneath our nose uh, is actually not lined up very well. So, all I'm going to do here is come up to the transform tool and just take the perspective tool and just try and sort of in open this out a bit more, just so we can we can get a, a nice angle with the skull. that's a bit better and then if I shrink that now just in the height we should be able to actually squeeze in everything in there so yeah that's starting to look quite good now I'm just going to come over and go to the uh, let's see the some of the blending effects let's just bring the opacity back up here see which ones we've got. Yeah, I, I really liked uh, I really liked this effect uh, with the darken. Now, unfortunately, we've, we do have our our nose shown here. So, how do we how do we fix and correct that? So, I'm just going to apply this here uh, and just come in a bit closer and let's just see if we can somehow cover the the nose a bit more with the with the skull. should be let's see about here just pull that out there a bit yeah I'm just gonna come back and use the let's come back and use the perspective tool again just to once again just to give us a bit more of, of an outside angle there we go that actually is that's covering our nose quite well now so oh, there we go, we've got our, our skull lined up, I think that's probably the best we're going to get. So I'm just going to take the eraser tool and just rub around our, our chin here and just remove that part of where the side of the skull is and just come up here in the edge so we can get our, our hair flowing through. Yeah, that's looking that's looking perfectly lined up there. So now all I'm going to do is just come in with the where are we? Just with the blur tool here. I'm just going to make sure I've got a nice low low brush uh, and just come along the edge of where the skull meets our our face and just just really just sort of smudge smudge that area there and just to to blend it in a bit more. running that up there just quite quick. Just round the edge here. And that should be that should be us. Let's have a look. Yeah that's looking good. Try and blend this 
side a wee bit more. Let's pull the edges out just a bit. And I'm just going to come back and use the, the blur tool again and just get with a bigger brush just to really sharpen up this this blend here. So it's still quite noticeable. if we just merge both these layers together. Let's just come back and again just and we can blend in just a, a bit better as well with the merging of the layers. As we can see, we can see our eyes under here, so I'm just going to quickly come up and get the brush tool and just change it to a dark colour and just darken around the eyes there so we can't really see the eyes. And there we go, that gives us a nice creepy Mona Lisa skull face. Try it on your friends too. <laughs> 